I found myself staying in a cheap hotel. Reports on the hellish war never let up. News of Heihachi's return to the Mishima Zaibatsu had sent shockwaves across the globe, and the announcement of the King of Iron Fist tournament flooded the airwaves day and night. But none of that mattered to me. From my drab room, I just stared up at the moonlit sky, looking for a ray of hope. The concept of evil seemed so vague. Who torched my hometown? The Mishima Zaibatsu? Or was it G Corporation? With the war submerged in chaos, who could tell? In the darkness, a fellow reporter visited me and offered me a ray of hope in the form of an expose on G Corporation. G Corp were at war with the Mishima Zaibatsu and it appeared that they had the public on their side. People believed that the Zaibatsu had started the war, so it was only natural that they saw G Corp as their saviors. However, my reporter friend came into my hotel and, barely able to contain his excitement, presented me with the picture. It revealed G Corp's true colors, which conflicted with their public image. The picture shed light on the incident that had occurred only a few months earlier.
この代償はきっちり払ってもらうぞ。It all started with an explosion in the heart of the Mishima estate. At the time, the media reported it as an unfortunate accident. But when strange truths began to come to the light, things didn't appear quite so clear-cut. After the explosion came the deaths of a number of G Corporation's executives. The newspapers put it down to a coincidence a series of tragic occurrences. But the truth was far more sinister. In reality, an attempt by G Corporation to take out one of their own had failed. And the man they had targeted came baying for revenge. The missed target's name was Kazuya Mishima. After disposing of the guilty parties without so much as dirtying his hands, Mishima began to manipulate G Corporation from the shadows. A serious marksman? It says here they're based in Italy. A society of exorcists who've historically held influence throughout Europe. What are you planning this time? Jin has a bad soul scot to me, Jack Chashut Tagarana. Sika, you show up, Sir Taminiba. Kazia will toss the kid by eaming on it. Sika, you know, you don't know, Mikata needs Keneva Naran. Surely you can't be planning on using the society's underground network. Reading their HQ for not returning your calls. You're quite a negotiator. If you say so. Sei venuto di persona. Allora è vero ciò che si dice sul tuo conto, Heihachi. Kisamaga sai che uno è exorcista. Claudio ka. Mi sembrava di aver declinato la tua offerta. I cacciatori Sirius sono unici al mondo e siamo sempre stati indipendenti. Intendiamo metterci al servizio dei capricci di qualche corporazione. Se è così, dovrò escogitare un'altra soluzione per farti ragionare. Ho
mio potere. Sei un umano, con la forza di un demone! Questo demone... Vuoi davvero opporti a un simile abominio? Day in, day out, I found myself at the library, poring over articles. Company directories, history books, you name it. I scavenged them all, looking for anything I could find on G Corporation's Kazuya, including his historical and familial links to the Mishima Zaibatsu. The truth had to be revealed, even if it meant doing so alone. The Mishimas were warriors, hailing back as far as the Taira and Minamoto eras. With the advent of World War, they capitalized on the increased military demand. During my research, I came across two significant names. The first was Jinpachi Mishima. Head of the Mishima clan during the war, he abhorred needless conflict and reacted accordingly against the organization's military expansion by resolving instead to devote his family's legacy solely to martial arts. However, all that changed when Heihachi wrested control of the family helm, proceeding to rename the organization the Mishima Zaibatsu. As its head, Heihachi secured its reputation as a world-leading military firm. Which brings us to the second name, Jin Kazama. Seizing control from Heihachi, he reigned over his empire until only recently. He was also the one who started this damn war, which took everything from me. I dreamed of one day killing him with my bare hands. Devil to you, Sonza, you, 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 So che il suo demone interiore supera perfino quello di Kazuya. Un momento. Che fosse lui. Do you know something? Ci hanno riferito che un essere disumano è apparso in Estremo Oriente. Ningen to wa omoenu ka? Tashika ni yatsu wa etai no shire no bakemono ja. So that means Jean is. Dogo ni iyo to kamawan. Everything looks clear. En route to the United Nations HQ. Roger that. What?
freeze!中東にて風間神の姿を捉えました。Things just got a whole lot more complicated. No, there's no point. We'll have to stay one step ahead. Ma se l'essere disumano in Estremo Oriente non era Jin, chi era? O cosa era? This lead sent me on a journey through countless documents, where I finally found her name in a single paragraph, Kazumi Hachijo. There was no mention of what kind of life she and Heihachi had led together, but it confirmed that Heihachi was Kazuya's father and Kazumi his mother. That's when I realized something shocking. The year Heihachi seized control from Jinpachi and established the Zaibatsu was the same year his wife Kazumi had died and Kazuya had fallen from a cliff, sustaining terrible injuries. What could all this mean?
We have a handle on Heihachi Meshima's movements. It appears he is conducting a thorough search for Jin Kazama. Hmm. Jin will 